Hi, welcome to my channel, View Step by Step. We will cover what is a connection, different types of connection available, parameters that are available to the connection, and we will work on a demonstration. So, what exactly is a connection? Before going to a connection, let's think of a universe. What is a universe? The universe is a semantic layer which provides users a simple way to query the database. Users can generate reports from the data warehouse using this universe. So the main purpose of universe is to fetch data from the database and in order to do that, we need a connection to the database. So that's why in SAP Business Object, we need a connection so that we can connect to a database or a data warehouse to retrieve the required data for analysis. Now, as you know that there are different kinds of databases available in this world. We have relational databases, we have a lab, which are specifically for data warehousing, we have file system. So, there should be different ways to connect to these databases. So in business objects in universe, there are different drivers which can help us to connect to appropriate database and fetch required data. You can connect to relational database, you can connect to OLAP, you can let's see uh, a demo on how we, uh, what kind of driver, what kind of uh, uh, database drivers are available in business objects to connect to databases. So this is our information design to window. So I have created a local project. Now let's create a connection. So I go to new and relational connection. Here we can see the list of drivers which are available to us. You can connect to Apache, you can connect to IBM, Microsoft, Oracle, Sky Data, almost anything, any kind of database. In database also, there are multiple options of labels. You can connect using KDBC driver, or you can connect using RAP client or ODBC driver. So let's see what kind of things are required to connect to KDBC driver. If you want to connect Using JDBC, it, it will ask for username, password, it will ask for the server where your database is, is running and the port number where it is listening. Thus, it will ask for net service. If you are using Oracle, it will ask for a net service. That is a TNS name. Now, there is one option available that you use business object credential mapping. So, what MLT it means is when you create a business object user, Administrator can uh, use a property in business object user uh, that is called set database credentials. Then he can specify a username and password. You don't need to specify username and password in the connection itself. Uh, so the username and password will be taken from the business object user account settings automatically. We will cover this in detail when we work on the administration section. Right now, let's use this specified username and password. So, this is how you can connect using JDBC. Let's suppose you have, you have a ODBC setting, you have a ODBC defined, and you want to use it to connect to your database. It will ask for whether you want to give username and password or you want to use business object username and password. And then it will ask for data source name. This is basically your ODBC name. So, this is how uh, you can create a basic connection. Uh, right now, I have Microsoft Access in my system, so I will create the connection using that. So here I have here the Microsoft Access Drive ODB driver. My data source name is e section ready. I have you I am not given any username and password so the unit blank. Let's click click on finish. 
So we have seen now that how we can create a connection in uh, this is object uh, IDG pool. Let's go in more detail and check what are different kind of connections which are available to us. So there are three types of connections, local, secured, and shortcut. So okay, let's cover this short demo. Right now, uh, uh, I have created a connection uh, using Microsoft Access ODB driver and saved it in my local project. So this is a local connection which because it lied on my local machine. It is not available on the server. So suppose I publish my universe to the server so that users can uh, query it, user can run, can create reports using that universe. They need to connect to the database. So if this connection is not available on the server, it's not possible. So to achieve that, I need to publish this connection to the server. So how to do that? Select this connection, go to file, publish, and publish connection to the repository. It will ask for username and password. The username and password of your business object repository and it will show you the connection folder of your repository. Now, I already have a view training folder, so I will migrate this connection uh, to this folder. It says that that connection was published successfully. Do we want to create a connection shortcut? So I will cover this connection shortcut uh, later. Let's keep now here. By doing this, you can see you now my repository is visible in my repository view, and you can see connection in view training. I have to this training connection, which is a secure connection, but it lies on server. So, a connection that lies on a server is a secure connection. The connection that lies on a local machine is a local connection. So, this is a basic definition of two types of connection. Now, let's see. see what is a shortcut connection? Uh, suppose uh, I do not have a local connection. Let's just delete this. And there is a geo connection already exists, which already exists on repository. Okay. And I want to use this geo connection to develop my new universe or to update my universe. So uh, I don't need to create a new local connection. I can just create a shortcut from the repository. So uh, let's select the connection, right click and create a relational shortcut connection. It will ask the project name, I will select the training, okay. And as soon as, as I do that, a shortcut connection is created in my local machine. Now this connection lies on my shortcut lies on my local machine. But it refers to the connection in the repository, so the connection shortcut. If you see the properties, it refers to your repository and it connect. It refers to the connection which lies on the repository server. And so you can create a shortcut connection that refers to a connection on repository and lies on your local machine. And you can use this uh, shortcut connection for development of your universe. You don't need to create a separate local connection. Now, how this shortcut connection differs from a Local connection. So let's create a local connection also here. Yeah. So I have created a local connection also here. Now see this local connection. Here we have an option to edit the properties. You can edit the username, password, data group name, and different settings. But if you check shortcut connection in IDT, edit connection option is not present. 
you cannot edit the connection. You can just change the connection. By change the connection means right now uh, my connection connection shortcut is pointing to view connection dot cnx on the repository. So I can change the connection and uh, I can make it point make it to point to training or some other connection as per my requirement. And you can see now my view connection shortcut is pointing to training connection. So this is how you can change the connection from IDD. But the uh, edit option is not available for shortcut connection. If you want to edit properties of a connection, shortcut connection, you have to go to repository view and in the repository side you have to click edit and now you will get an option to change the main password or the template name for different parameters. So in this way, your shortcut connection is secured. Your uh, it can be edited only if you have access to the repository. You cannot edit different properties of a shortcut connection from your local project window. Now let's see what are different connection parameters available to us. Let's create a new connection. So these are different parameters which we can set in a connection. First is connection pool mode. That is specify how you want to uh, keep your connection pool active. First, you have multiple options here. You have a option to disconnect after each transaction. Means as soon as one uh, query or one transaction is finished, your connection will be disconnected. And for any for the query, a new connection will be formed again. This is a slow. Uh, this will be slow process. So it is recommended that you keep your connection active for a particular time. Uh, suppose I want to keep my connection active for 10 minutes, and I can give a pool timeout option as 10 minutes. You can increase or decrease it according to your needs. When there is a reset size, a reset size means number of rows which will be retrieved in one go from the database. Uh, for example, if I have 200 rows uh, in as a result set of my query, and my connection set size size is 10, then it will fetch 10 rows at a time, and it will take 20 turns to get the complete data. So you should keep it, uh, give it a value that is high enough uh, to fetch most of the result uh, in one fetch and improve your performance. Uh, remember, increasing this fetch size will consume more memory. So keep in your mind about the infrastructure you have and set this parameter accordingly. Array by size is not used, so we will leave it. Login timeout. This is the timeout in minutes for which a connection will keep trying to connect to a database before throwing an error message. That means, suppose you are trying to connect to an Oracle database and your database is down. So it will try to connect to that database for around 600 minutes before throwing an error. So you should keep it uh, to, to uh, appropriate value to 20 minutes. So we have covered connections, uh, connection parameters here. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. For any query, help, or training, you can reach me at bustepbystep at gmail.com. Thank you.